welcome to our session. Today we're going to be talking about the psychology of trading. Because the psychology of trading for me is the most important yet underrated element of successful trading. Let me put this firstly as always risk disclaimer, not telling you when to buy and when to sell, rather we are sharing our knowledge, sharing our education, and getting to and working to and working through these sessions to get you to feel confident that you can take independent, calculated trading decisions. An independent online trader, that's the goal. And when I talk about the psychology of trading, just to um, put it in perspective and the kind of bigger picture or the chapter that falls under in the FX Trademark uh, Foundation course is I've worded it putting it all together and being ready and the different aspects to that. We've got money management, psychology of trading and we've got an upcoming session where I'll be talking about the connection, the link between these two. And also making sure we have a trading journal where everything is recorded. We have a set of books to our business. But specifically today, we're talking about the psychology of trading. Psychology of trading, let me get to. When we talk about the psychology of trading, let me just take again one step back if that's okay. And I find it interesting, and I want to share with you that I mean, I've been, as you know, aside from being a, a trader myself, I uh, have been in the education aspect of this industry and of this business for, for many years. Um, different forms of teaching, training, mentoring, working with really varied, varied across the board range of currency traders, whether it's be giving foreign exchange advice to people with ex uh, businesses with foreign exchange exposure or teaching people to do their own trading as we doing becoming an independent online trader whenever I speak to someone who's becoming a trader wants to learn to be a trader starting out in the business and I talk about the psychology of trading I kind of get that look I've learned to recognize the look. And the look is one of, you know, Mark, cut out the psychology part of it. I don't need help. And I don't, you know, you're not a psychologist. What do I want from you? I want a signal. Tell me when to buy and sell. Kind of, that's what it's all about. And at the time, I understand that, that, that thinking. And as those students become traders and reach the levels that they're looking to reach i always get some kind of a well mark maybe i i, I get why it's not all about the signals you have to have traded for a while like anything else in life experience there's no substitute for experience and only once we start trading once we start getting a feel and once we, we become an experienced trader, do we then realize and appreciate the significance and importance of the psychology, the psychological aspect of trading? In my opinion, far more so than in most other conventional businesses. Yes, we need patience, diligence, discipline, determination, humility. Of course, we need all those qualities. And note that those are kind of subjective qualities as well. Everyone has their own idea of patience, diligence, certainly humility. But those, those all make up the psychological aspect of being a trader. The ultimate business opportunity, the ultimate way to, to, to earn, in my opinion, the, the ultimate way to, to have an income to earn an income is by trading. What other industry? Think about it. You have, you have the information at our fingertips. We sit down to trade. We have, where's, where's the chart? 
Um, oh no, I've got my live charts here. <laughs> there we go. Look at this information live at our fingertips. I'm sitting now looking at the Euro US and I know and I have as much as much information as the president of the biggest bank trading in billions fund fund uh, managers governments the playing fields have been leveled we have all this information readily available at our fingertips the information the become kind of the easy part to have the information what's really important is knowing what to do with it and that's why i believe and that's why we're doing what we're doing and talking about education but psychologically it's you it's you and these charts for me right now it's me and you and the euro us and we can make any decision we want we can see it's hitting resistance right now as we're talking and we have the opportunity to click the buy and to buy it right now right now literally now it's live there we go we can trade any size we want any level we want any position size we want as long as we've got funds to cover it in our account we can buy we can sell we can use technical indicators really really an awesome unbelievable opportunity but psychologically it is difficult why is it difficult and i'm going to take a very very brief trade over here with a very small position size because it's a live account so clearly i just want to illustrate a point it's going up uh, this is the tough part. There you see the fluctuation, the live, it's moving. I'm down 90 cents, 95 cents. Of course, that could be, I'm, I'm now down a dollar. It could be, uh, depending on my position size, $1, $10, $100, $1,000. Uh, forget the money. The fact that we see the profit and loss fluctuating and moving in front of our eyes, it, the way it is. I'm down money, I'm up money. I had this amount to my account. Now if I lose, and it is, if I am wrong and I lose money right now, I cannot blame the markets. I can't blame anybody. It's not the supplier. It's not market condition. It's me. I have to have the, 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 the makeup to accept the wins, the losses, not blame anybody and understand and understand my strategy well enough that even when I have a losing trade, I'm able to apply that strategy again because I understand that I can't only have winning trades. There's no such thing. Nobody only has winning trades. The same as in any business, there's no such thing as only every day being a record day, every cycle, every, every quarter every week every month you're going to have ups and downs you've got cash flow issues as long as at the end of any measurable period whether it's a quarter a month a week as long as we come out making a profit but to get to that end result there's going to be ups and downs in our business cash flow problems as we call them here it's taking a loss i can't delay it I've said I can't blame it on anybody. I can't sweep it under the carpet. I, 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 I can't take extra terms to pay my supplier. I can't put it on sale. I can't return the goods. All the conventional kind of business things I'm, I, I'm relating it to. I have to accept that. And I have to know, okay, I clicked the buy and now it's gone down and I've lost. How much am I prepared to lose? At what point, at what point am I prepared to say, okay, I was wrong? Where am I going to put my stop loss? And if I take a loss, and as you can see, I'm dealing with small numbers here. Uh, let's say we take a loss. And now I'm going to look at the charts again, and I, and I have to be confident in, in my strategy, in my understanding that I can apply my strategy again. 
and accept the fact that I took a loss. And if I get a big win, I don't want to be greedy and say, well, why did not trade bigger? Because I could have made X amount more on my trade. That's the psychology of being a trader. The fact that this is moving all the time, it's immediate, it's in my face. I, uh, let's have a look at the numbers here, $3,986. So if I now, from $3,986, and I accept my $3 loss, I now have 3982 I lost 3 $4. It's there, it's uh, it's immediate. Immediate. And that's not easy to deal with as a, a, a person, as anybody who has emotions. It's emotional. And because of these emotions, it brings out fear and it brings out greed. Those are the two emotions that will be there every time we sit down to trade. Fear and greed. They're natural emotions. And we're dealing in money, we're dealing in cash. What brings out worse emotions in anybody than dealing in, like you saw, fluctuating cash, going up and down, and having to be to make decisions? You can't think about it next week or go home and think about it. A business decision, let's, let's take our time, let's weigh up. You do all that before, but once you're in, you're in, and you're trading. And your floating profit and loss continues to, to move and to fluctuate. So how do we get good at this? How do we control these emotions of fear and greed? And what are fear and greed? Uh, don't necessarily have to take them at their, I mean, they are ugly words. But fear, the fact that you don't want to lose money. And greed, that you do want to make money. So you've got these two going on the whole time, and it's at your fingertips, and you can click and take a trade, certainly in the Forex, 24 hours a day, on all these different currency pairs, all these different financial instruments, over different time frames. We need to be educated, disciplined, humility, and control our fear and our greed while this is all going on and we get there we get there with knowledge we get there with education and we get there with experience that's why patience when when i put up i put up patience humility determination these these are needed in this business and that's all the psychological aspect of trading we're in a business this is a business it might not seem you know the reason we sometimes fail to put it in its correct uh, uh, department or business because we might probably, almost definitely, starting off part-time, you're not investing maybe a huge amount of money in the beginning, kind of put my toe in the water, let me give this a feel, let me see, I think I can make some money here. Yeah. And not treating it like a business, but it is a business. Of course it's a business and like i said it's the alt in my opinion the ultimate business but to get to that level of experience takes time to make these calculated decisions makes time and psychologically it's hard to deal with it's hard to deal with taking a loss when it's so real and so live and so in your face And think about this as well. I mean, every business or profession, and most of you out there who I'm, I'm assuming at this point aren't full-time professional traders, how long did it take you to get to the level that you're at in your business, in your profession, in whatever trade you, whatever you do to, to, to earn your income? It takes time. It takes effort. It takes money. Why would we think that something like trading we can be good at in a day or a week or, or a month with all due respect. It takes time. It takes time to build up that confidence. Every profession needs to learn that skill and then to practice it. The same thing here. But here you're practicing with real money because that's the only way to learn. And that becomes very emotional. 
we're dealing in money, and money brings out, like I said, the worst emotions in everybody. When you take a loss, not all losses are the same. Did you break the rules? If I took a loss, it's very different to me whether I broke the rules or whether the market just beat me. If the market just beat me, I accept that. Not every trade can be a winning trade. Or if I lose and I say, well, the market didn't beat me, I broke my rules. I must learn from that. And that's why it's so important. And I've got in this putting it all together. You saw I even included a, a trading journal, keeping an analysis of all our trades, running it like a business, knowing everything about every trade that we've taken, winning or losing, why are we doing that? So we can use that as our reference. And that's what we learn from. We're looking for common threads amongst our winning and our losing trades. And there will be common threads amongst your winning and losing trades always, whether it's the time of day you're taking, which instrument you're trading, the position size, what strategy you're using. And that's how we learn and that's how we get better. We have to have that patience. We have to have that discipline. And like I'm going to get into uh, uh, when I do the next session with you, tying up the psychology and the money management aspect of it. Because they go together. It's not all about when does the line cross and what's the signal and which technical indicator do I use. And um, I don't want to downplay that too much because, of course, if you don't have a good strategy, you can't win. If you're going to lose four, five, six, seven, eight, nine trades in a row, well, something's wrong with your strategy. We need to work on it. We need to be honest with ourselves. When we're in a speculative industry like this, a lot of speculators tend to remember only the winning trades, kind of brush the others under the carpet and forget about them. That's human nature. That's not what we do. We deal with reality. We took a loss, we accept it, we learn from it, and we move on. You know, if I, if I were to think back or of, of, of the, and literally, as I sit here today, hundreds and hundreds of, of uh, people, and I guess uh, if you count the online, thousands of people who are trained and, and, and worked with, it's, it, it's those that, that, that accept and get to learn how important and appreciate the psychological aspect who are the successful traders. I think you can kind of, you know, I don't know if it's a good analogy, you think of sport and you think of a lot of different other skill sets where people learn things, but psychologically one has to have the temperament. Maybe if you go to, I don't know if you, <laughs> uh, golf, if you go to a, a driving range and watch people hitting golf balls and practicing, they all look good. They all look really, really good. And they are good. And they hit that ball far and straight. Golfer number, whoever is ranked number 500 in the world, believe me, hits that ball far and straight and true. But can they do it in a tournament? when the pressure's on. That's the psychological aspect of winning. The, the, the mechanics of hitting a golf ball, not that difficult if you're not under pressure. When you're under pressure, everything seems different. The same as in trading, on your demo account, it seems pretty easy. When you're under pressure, when you're in a trade, and all of a sudden, wonderful, exactly what I wanted to see. So this came down, now it's gone up again. Now we lost, was it, I think, 2 or $3, because it came down and then I closed the trade out. Now it's gone up, chasing. So now, now, now the trader wants to buy and says, I knew it was going up. And then they click it here again, and then it starts coming down. And they, without a predetermined strategy. 
I mean, you know, I don't trade the five minute chart. Okay. But strategy would be that would have been where it crossed the signal line. If we were trading using that strategy, that would have been our stop loss and you would still be in your buy trade right now. That's the difference between having a strategy, understanding and guessing. And that's not what we do. Good. I, I hope I've stressed it enough. I think I have. I know I, I, I know I repeat it over and over, but it's that important. The psychology of trading is really, really important. Any questions you have, please feel free. Mark at fxtrademark.com. Obviously, this is one. I've zoomed in on one aspect of a foundation course that that you know that covers 24, 25, I think, hours of detailed uh, uh, content and I've just zoomed in on, on aspects that I think we can share together in the way that we are doing it that certainly will be helpful to you. Thank you and any anything you want to have a look on our website fxtrademark.com any any questions any queries relate any trading related questions always feel free to give me a shout at mark at fxtrademark.com be more than happy and I'll show you I will get back to you with the best input that I can to help put you on the right path.